Hey you guys, it's LaJonna here. Uh, I'm going to make this quick because my I think my battery thing is flashing at me. But Oh, my cat. No, no. No, no, kitty. <laughs> anyway, uh, not going to start this over because uh, i got to get this done. It's been so long since I've done one of these. Um, I say so long. It really hasn't been horribly long. I think it was the end of October and uh, maybe early November when I did my last vlog. And... Uh, it was right after my my dad died and uh, I was so proud of myself I was doing good maintaining my weight and uh, uh, even through all that which was a major thing for me because I'm a major emotional eater um, and I I've told a couple of you I think but I didn't tell everyone uh, because uh, I haven't been able to actually get my mind wrapped around it good until recently as well. But my dad actually committed suicide um, three days prior to uh, him having uh, surgery for cancer. He was going to have to have a um, a bag and everything. He was going to have to have his uh, prostate removed, his uh, part of his bladder removed, um, and possibly later on a kidney and. Uh, I know uh, the Christian man that he was it was just it was so devastating my my dad um, is in the Bible every morning when he gets up when he has breakfast and um, it just it was just so disheartening for someone who set such a uh, strong example to all of us his whole life uh, for him to to do something like that and at the same time though uh, being human and being the way we are I totally understand how he could come to that place in his mind he was on some crazy cocktail of medication that uh, and my dad doesn't take medication and uh, he was on some really strong sleeping pills and hadn't been sleeping and was sleep deprived and I knew when we dropped him off Friday night uh, that he was not in a good place and um, I had spoken with my sister about it prior to but nonetheless I'm not going to go into the whole horrible thing uh, but he did uh, t take his life and that sent me on a downhill um, spiral but it was really weird because I got super numb uh, for like a couple of weeks there before I lost my mind. And uh, once I lost my mind, though, what did I do? I mean, I resorted to old habits and I stuffed everything that had sugar and, I mean, bread, all my go-tos. Um, I ate like a crazy person for um, that couple of months there uh, until I started this round. Um, this is kind of like a... a like a, you know, get me off this Ferris wheel <laughs> kind of a, a round for me just to get my mind back where it needed to be. And hopefully I can uh, lose and undo a little bit of the damage that I did. Um, I've always prided myself on how well my P3s go and, uh, you know, what they say about pride. Because <laughs> as soon as you get proud and, and, you know, start thinking that you've got something down, you know, God's going to throw a kink in there somewhere and not to say that God did this to, to punish me or anything because that's not what I'm saying you guys know what I'm saying uh, just when you think that you got everything together there's always something that, you, that that throws you for a loop and these trials make us stronger and I know I'm gonna be stronger on the other side anyway back to my round uh, off that box because we're moving forward uh, so I'm not weighing every day um, I did have to start weighing because I am doing a little more chocolate delight than I probably should. You guys that have watched my rounds know that uh, chocolate delight's my downfall. I probably shouldn't even be doing it during my rounds just because of that uh, psychological thing. But right now, if that's the only vice I've got, then I'm using it. So, uh, but nonetheless, I, I, I didn't weigh prior to my round. Um, what I did is I took my weight after two days in, which is normally just your load weight gone. You guys know that, that I've done several rounds. And uh, in addition to that, I've lost six pounds so far. Um, and I've still got probably a week and a half to go, maybe two weeks. So if I lose a couple more pounds, I'll be good with that. I uh, plan on doing another round at some point. I'm not sure when, I'm thinking maybe April. Um, because I'm treating this like a second round since I had a whole year between rounds. I don't even know what number of rounds, but I had a whole year off. So uh, I did a round that I finished up back in October. And so, uh, I mean, September. 
So this will be like round two for me. So I'm going to wait the full six weeks be between to make sure that I'm doing my spacing correctly. I, I mean, I'm guessing that's okay to do it that way. But other than that, things are going good. Blake's still racing. My son, for those of you who don't know me, he races motocross. And we were going to take a break, and supposedly we did, but I don't know if Dad or Blake is more addicted to the motocross thing because we're, for some reason, we're still racing <laughs> pretty much every weekend. So the next few weekends are going to be bogged down. I'm not going to be vlogging a whole lot, you guys, just because this is, you know, this is what it is to me. I, you know, there's nothing a whole lot new that goes on. Um, plus, right now, it's just kind of hard to get myself <laughs> motivated to, to to really do vlogs. I'm still dealing with some of this stuff um, from over the past couple of months. We still don't have everything straightened out with the, you know, what was left um, with the house because my mom passed three years ago. Oh, and by the way, um, when he died, he died on my mom's birthday. And uh, with him taking his life, it just made it that much uh, more intense. It's just, it's just such a sad and sweet and it's just, I don't know. You guys just don't know you got it. But I love all y'all. I'm going to, I know I'm probably, it's already six minutes into this and I really haven't said anything. I've just been rambling, but I've had a few of y'all call me out and say y'all need me to vlog and you know, I'm really not depressed. I, I think I sound that way today. I really do. I'm watching myself and I'm like, okay, I sound really bad, but I'm really not that bad. Most of the time I'm motivated. Tom's here this week. And so, and he's really thrown me for a loop this time too, I think because I had added all that sugar and mess back into my diet that I had not my previous several rounds. And I'm having detox like you wouldn't believe. And Tom came with a vengeance this time and it's just been kind of crazy but uh hopefully he'll be out the door in a couple of days and then i can move on and the good losses will start back again i think i had a point for today from two days ago so hmm anyway tom is tom and this is what it is and it is going to serve a purpose this time even if i don't lose a whole lot of pounds on the scale so i love you guys so much and i missed y'all i i did and y'all just bear with me and let me get back to my old self and i'll be vlogging more <laughs> i like i said i love each and every one of y'all and miss hcg girl thank you for calling me out a few times to get my button gear and get on out here and, and do this vlog and um i just uh, and i wanted to give a shout out to kathy i've been visiting with her on the phone uh lately and she's just been such a blessing um i never knew uh, through all these rounds how wonderful talking on the phone could be but it's just been great and uh really keeps my spirits up and she's a hoot so i love you miss kathy and you know who i'm talking to i will talk to you later bye